Does the OneCore API help people go back to XP? Hmm. Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to try running modern applications on Windows XP from 2001. We'll check if these applications are still supported in 2025 and if they are still useful today. Can Windows XP handle more productivity, applications, games, and web browsers? I'll walk through the process, and once everything is set up, we'll see how well it runs natively. Does it work? Let's find out. Let's get started. First of all, let's install the extended kernel project called quote, One Core API. One Core API enhance Windows XP and Server 2003, enabling them to run modern software and support newer hardware through compatibility layers. By adding compatibility layers, it allows these older systems to run modern software and hardware. This helps users who still rely on legacy systems for specific tasks. This project is easy to install, but an internet connection is required. I use different PC with VMware because when I tried VMware on my main PC, Windows XP caused a blue screen of that. And I don't know why, but anyway, the supported programs are listed in the description where you can check compatibility. Without further ado, let's jump into the demo of this video. Okay, as you can see, we're running at the latest version of Windows XP. So, yeah, this is the latest version. This is the 22-bit one. So, yeah, it completely works just fine. And yeah, it's this is not fake. This is not fake. Yeah, this is real. This is real Windows XP computer. So, all we have to do is to um, run modern programs in Windows XP. So, without further ado, let's run the modern programs. First, let's open Google Chrome. Alright, so as you can see, it opened good. Yeah, it took long. It took a, it took a bit of while to load. But yeah, it's, as, yeah, as you can see, it works fine. Yeah, it's, it's definitely slow because this is, I'm using a virtual machine. Yep, there we go. This is chrome in natively in with xp oh my gosh so so slow but it's okay it still loads google.com and let's load um this is windows xp by the way yep this is the native windows xp so now let's load up my website to test it out yeah start using my my website and yeah it loads perfectly fine yeah you can scroll down here and you can go to my animations right here so yeah only issue here is the windows 10 exit button so it's it glitches out it's, it actually pops sometimes pops up the windows xp the lunar theme exit buttons but um i couldn't yeah it's yeah it's so one natively even in maximize you feel like windows 10 but but it actually in windows xp so what about if i watch this video natively and yep, there you go. It, you can watch YouTube videos here. Yeah, <laughs> even 4K and 60 FPS doesn't work. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it definitely works. Yeah, it works so fine. And let's see the HTML5 test. Let's see the the actual scores of the operating system. Um, whoops, wrong website. And yeah. So we got 538, which is kind of good, and yeah, it's actually pretty good enough. So yeah, it's kind of a good score as the Windows 10 PC. It's a good score, by the way. So yeah, this is definitely runnable as I can. Let's see the version. This is the latest version, by the way. So I'm using Google Chrome Portable because um the the actual installer doesn't work so yeah it's this is copyright 2025 this is the latest version i'm not kidding this is the real thing i'm not putting windows 10 skin on windows xp this is the real version so next up is firefox so running firefox in windows xp well 
So, and last Windows Firefox here is running version 52. So now it's running at the latest version. So, yeah, it works fine. Let's open my website. Yeah, as you can see, it's really slow because I'm using a virtual machine. But you can actually tell the difference whenever you're using an old computer. Yeah, this is very slow performance. And yeah, I loaded my website successfully. So let's go to my animation. Yeah, it works fine. But when you came here, the some um the developer didn't fix the Firefox video codex like the VP9 codex. It doesn't add any Windows XP. This because of um this is because of the drivers the Win Windows XP codex. So yeah, it's loading up. Yeah. So. On the website, it says the to watch the YouTube video. Yep, it, yep. There we go. It's an error. Reason why here because of the codex doesn't support the Windows XP, like the VP9 um, codex. It's it's not even worked. However, so yeah. However, you can watch my my channel trailer here. So yeah, I can. Yeah, it doesn't work in Firefox only to work by using version 130 to able to fully working but yeah this is the latest version of firefox in windows xp so as you can see firefox is up to date so there you go the, you, i'm using the up to date version of firefox so what about the html5 test as you can see it's actually the same score but the video it didn't work this is because of the vp9 codex doesn't support the windows xp it uses the Windows XP codex instead of Chrome, it uses the application codex. So reason why it doesn't work for some reason. Next up is Audacity. So um, playing music in Audacity is yeah, it causes errors, but when you ignore the errors, it perfectly runs. As you can see, it runs perfectly fine. So let's open music. Um, sounds like the let's try explanation. And yep, there you go. It's and yeah, it's yeah. The sample weight is only the issue here, but you can change the sample weight here. Probably work in in any machine, not in virtual machine, cause uh, yeah. But you can put an um, edit style like example um, amplify this. It works so fine, and yeah, you can. Let me save the audio. Now what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use a let's see it works let's see it actually works so um i think this is this actually works yep there we go it's working so it only works on that uh, not on previewing so it it actually take effect on the audacity but overall it works fine um opening discord is uh maybe some issues on discord because it doesn't update well because of the uh version because of the internet doesn't have doesn't support internet drivers on the external kernel so reason why like take a look at this yep updates fail because it, it i don't know why maybe the developer didn't fix the fix the bug when you install a offline or portable version of discord this might actually work next up is the visual studio code this is for microsoft but but yeah this is for microsoft and I, it, I, it's supposedly so, so run perfectly. So there you go. It runs perfectly. Only in disadvantages is the um, exit buttons. But let's ignore that. But everything works. Next up is the um, Microsoft Paint. Yeah, this is from Windows 7. But but overall, it works. Yeah, you can draw st stuff like that. Yeah, smiley face. Can add shapes, different colors, uh, different brushes. Yeah, it's kind of good. Even though this is um, yeah, spray paint, stuff like that. Line. Let's make it um blue. Okay, it works. It works. Yeah, I can make paint. Um, let's make it united. Let's put it to desktop. And there you go, it works so fine. Yeah, you can use a Windows 7. I hope Windows XP 
service pack unofficial service pack for might include this this thing so let's set the desktop background for example and yeah that oh my gosh bro this is kind of bad but yeah it works it works fine i probably works in like i saw paint let's show open calculator so for some reason the calculator has the blank blank letters why this is because of font i don't know why so but you can do the same math mathematics so five plus five Oh wait, I don't know where the equal, equal button. Five plus five. Okay, it works. Only keyboard. Yeah, only keyboard. Never mind. It actually works. Next up is Notepad. So you can type text. Just normal Notepad, just like Windows XP. It's actually the the same, but yeah, it's different icon. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention that the void pad actually works. For some reason, it it only have limited fonts. Only one font is appeared. So when I try different font, just like I can type Arial, it doesn't even do that. But let me try um, Times New Woman. Yeah, it only selects one font only so it can enhance checks yeah for some reason when i go to um tests i'm gonna you notice that you see the blur right here so i don't know really why so i'm gonna put um whatever it doesn't even work yeah you can italicize oh my gosh it looks weird and underline it works well i can make a change colors red um paint drawing it actually on a when you click so yeah so so you can actually open the bitmap image in here so example this is the windows xp paint and then it opens windows xp paint so when you do in bitmap image here it only appears right here so yeah it actually works Next up for the fun part is Windows 7 game. So let's open chess application. And yeah, it works perfectly. And yeah, I'm just gonna let my s let something to do something like chess, but it works perfectly fine. Even though this is the latest version of XP, but yeah, anything could do that. Yeah, it works. Next next up is Minesweeper, so I hope this actually works fine and so for the audio because I'm using a different machine because when I use my main PC the extender kernel got a blue screen blue screen so yeah it's it blue screen my virtual machine so it doesn't work for some reason however we can we can make fun and make enjoy the video and for it I'm using a different machine this is a server computer yeah it works fine next up is the purple place so yeah it works fine even this XP so as you can see I can do whenever I want so now nah, I'm just gonna make myself yeah it works the audio is glitchy solitary yep it's it's a good game yeah you can play with that so even though it all is all the version, but yeah, it works perfectly fine, and yeah, it's it worked fine. It worked fine to me, so don't worry about that. I think works any in the future. Oh my gosh, we're playing solitaire again in in the past few weeks, so I'm not playing that anymore. Because yeah, I'm still be too fun in here, and yeah. So here, here we have it. It's perfectly running Windows XP modern programs. Yeah. Thanks to Open Core AI. So let's jump into the next chapter of this video. To one one core API, most Windows XP PCs lack enough RAM, have slower processors, and lower resolution. In contrast. 
modern system like mine, one programs smoothly with faster loading times and less overheating. Over time, Windows XP system requirements have remained low, while modern programs now require more than 2GB of RAM and multi-core processor. Even Windows 11 is 4GB of RAM. Overall, Windows XP can still run, especially in the VM. Now, let's go move on to the conclusion. One Core API brings new life to Windows XP by allowing it to run modern software and support newer hardware. While older PC may struggle with performance, this project makes Windows XP more usable, especially in virtual machines. If you're still using XP, this can be a great way to extend its capabilities. However, it's important to remember that security updates for Windows XP officially ended in 2014, making it vulnerable to modern threats. Using XP online is risky, so it's best to run it in a virtual machine or a closed environment. Even with one core API, some programs may still not work properly due to missing dependencies. Despite these limitations, this project is impressive and proves that older system can still have some modern functionality. It's fascinating to see how a 23-year-old operating system can still be adapted to run certain modern software. Whether for nostalgia, legacy software, or experimentation, Windows XP remains an iconic OS in computing history. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you again for my next video.